Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's fourth and final video. Just going to have a very quick 12Z model roundup uh, for today's final video. Just to go through the 12Z models that have updated over the past hour or two. See what we're all showing in terms of this possibility of an Arctic blast, uh, you know, northerly blast, um, towards the final stages of November. I did the tenth warning day earlier on today and, uh, you know, said we'd have a look at the 12Z model runs. Uh, this evening, so Gav's always good to his work when he can be, and um, yeah, here we go then. So I should get on that for you in a sec. Just say the first video is a was our 7 a.m. upload. We've also released the EC uh, 30 day slash six weeks okay for the UK and the rest of Europe too. A 10 to 14 day, and now we're finishing off with B12Z roundup. Please like, share, subscribe on all our videos. And search them out. I want to keep this relatively short, so we shall crack on very quick. Going to start off with UK met Euro. And this is how it's looking for tomorrow. High pressure ridging in from the southwest, bringing loads of dry um, and quite warm weather as well. Over the coming days, that area of high pressure will pull out into the Atlantic. So we get our first northerly shot over the weekend. High pressure moves to the west of Ireland and the UK. Winds turn into the north and from the northeast. Will be a lot colder. It won't be a desperately cold air mass. This is not true Arctic origin air but will certainly be a lot cooler to colder than we've been used to during this very mild uh, autumn. So the first push of cold air comes in over the weekend, and then into the early part of the next week, high pressure of ridges in over the country. It'll be mainly dry again, but with that area of high pressure ridging in, we can expect overnight frost and fog. That is as far as we get to with the UK met Euro. You notice that it's uh, mid-down Tuesday. You notice that it is trying to push back northwards up towards Greenland. Would that introduce another northerly shot and Arctic blast if we go any further? I wonder. But we can't go any further than that. So uh, we'll leave it there. And we will go instead to the uh, GFS. And we'll have a very quick look at that one. Again, we're beginning tomorrow. High pressure ridging up from the southwest. It will bring quite a lot of dry and uh, mild weather with it as we go on into the rest of the week. Again, lots of uh, mild weather. It really will be quite warm, actually. Thursday and Friday, temperatures into the upper teens Celsius, perhaps in one or two areas, certainly mid teens Celsius. Anyway, over the weekend, that high pressure will pull out into the Atlantic. Here comes the first sort of northerly pushing in on the uh, eastern side of that area of high pressure. So that's the first drop in the temperature taking place over the weekend. You will notice uh, that change. Then the high pressure early next week, so it sits over country with, within what would be quite a cold air mass, bringing overnight frost and fog too. And then look at this, we go towards the middle of next week, that high pressure starts to push up towards Greenland. That's a very intense area of high pressure setting up over Greenland at 1,075 millibars. That is a true northern blocking feature. And of course, that starts to send the jet stream and the low pressure south. So you have this big blocking area of high pressure, forcing low pressure and the jet stream southwards. We're under an area of low pressure through the second half of next week. This is Thursday, 25th of November. Uh, week on Thursday. Under this area of low pressure will be heavy showers, long spells of rain. Notice this northeasterly. That's some really cold air on the uh, out of the Atlantic. So this is like to the west of us at the moment. But as we go further on, the uh, GFS then takes that low pressure further southwards and pr starts to properly introduce a uh, true Arctic origin air. So as we come towards the final days of November, it turns so much colder with uh, proper Arctic air setting in. Uh, that will bring snow showers to many northern and eastern areas and a real drop in the temperature as well. Notice the blocking over Greenland has reduced, but it is still there, and uh, that is enough to keep the jet stream uh, to ourselves and keep this northerly going. So as we go into the end of November and the beginning of December, we do so on a cold note, a properly cold note, um, with winds again properly uh, in from the north. Cold and wintry uh, for the last uh, days of November into the beginning of December with that to her. Let's have a look at the GM. See how far we've got with that. So for some reason, this is only updated to 156 hours. So there must be some sort of delay on the GM-12 there coming out today, which is a bit of a nuisance. But never mind, we should show you as much as we can. So again, the GM has that... Um, let's get rid of that. The GM has that area of high pressure pulling out to our west. And winds turning into the north over the weekend. 
And uh, then as we go into uh, the early part of next week, that high pressure starts ridging back in or tries to ridge back in. But uh, overall, it's staying, staying up. we're staying on a cold side of the high pressure with the GM up to like early next week, which is the 23rd of November, the high pressure maintained out to our west. And winds continue to be pushing in um, from the north uh, with that one too. So it looks so like high pressure is trying to ridge up towards Greenland as well. I suspect that will, pr that will probably go in the same direction as all of the other model output and uh, will introduce, uh, you know, a genuine sort of Arctic northerly blast. Let's have a look at the icon, if I can find it. So where uh, would the icon be? I wonder where it is. Right, uh, icon. If you're enjoying this 12 round roundup, please can smash the like button. It's such a channel page. So much, everybody, uh, for doing that. And drop a comment. Let's know about this and all of our videos. Right, icon has high pressure pulling out into the Atlantic over the weekend. Winds will turn into the north. We get our first northerly shot over the uh, weekend. And then the high pressure sort of topples in over the country early next week. Actually, has a little bit of an easterly down in the south. I don't think it's a particularly cold easterly. As far as we get to with ICOM is 180 hours, which is to Wednesday, the 24th of November, when it looks like the high pressure is about to push back up to Greenland, and we're probably going to pull down a cold northerly wind. And then let's have a look, finally, at CFS, at the ECMWF, I should say, and uh, this is updated in the last few minutes. High pressure reaching in from the southwest on Wednesday, looking pretty mild, traced in the south. Uh, over the weekend, that high pressure pulls out to our west, and we start to introduce a cooler to colder northerly wind. So temperatures drop over the weekend, probably colder to bring wintry showers into the north and overnight frost. And then early next week, the high pressure again, similar to what I can was showing, so it slips down over top of the country. We have a little bit of an easy wind, it's not a particularly cold easy, but it will be chilly early next week with overnight frost. Definitely. And then through the middle of next week, look at this, ECM is also taking that high pressure north and pulling in a proper northerly blast. Here it comes, big blocking feature again set up around Greenland. Low pressure plunging down into northern Scotland. That will bring outbreaks of snow into the north. And then this trough of low pressure digs southwards as we get to day 10, which is Friday 26th of November, looking cold and wintry via the northern blocking and the Greenland high and the trough of low pressure over to the east of the country. Have a look at the upper air temperatures for day 10. That's how they look. So we're properly cold and nice 10 Celsius ice firm is set to north of Scotland, which is pretty impressive for uh, November. So, yeah, well, how exciting is that then, everyone? It does look as though, you know, uh, cold weather is on the way. Definitely cold, colder weather is on the way at the weekend. So the temperature is going to drop significantly, certainly to average, maybe a little bit below over weekend to the start of next week with night frost uh, appearing. The second northerly, though, is the one that could introduce the true Arctic origin air uh, through the second half next week. Obviously, we're still talking over a week away, so it's, there is uncertainty uh, about this, but it looks as though the 12Z models have shifted uh, the pendulum towards that second northerly blast, and so we could, be, we could be looking at a very cold and potentially quite wintry end to November with some snow, you know, perhaps even to, to low levels in some parts of the country. So uh, all eyes on what's happening with the Greenland High and the Northerly Blast uh, for the end of November. And we'll keep you posted about it at Gas Service over the next few days as well. If you enjoy this 12Z Roundup, please uh, smash your like button, make sure you sub to the channel, and thank you so much everybody for doing that. And we'll see you tomorrow uh, with more. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.